Hey you right there, complete stranger. What's the length times width times height of your penis? Answer into the iPhone mic right here. I need it for TikTok. Go ahead. Answer the question! It's no surprise that street interviews are very popular, especially on TikTok, because of people like Andrew Callahan and Side Talk who know how to make them funny. Because it's just wacky people doing wacky things that result in, you guessed it, wacky videos that are just downright enjoyable. How'd you get started doing fence? I used to have this slave in college that would like let me put stuff in his dick hole. But once something becomes a trend, TikTok likes to grab it by the nuts and milk all the fun out of it by oversaturating it and just making it not enjoyable anymore. And that's exactly what we're looking at today. When street interviews are done by TikTok clout chasers armed with nothing but an iPhone mic, and non-existent charisma. The ghetto? Hi! Huh? I like you. Uh-huh. Do you like me? Yeah. You do? Yeah. Oh shit, my mom's gonna be happy. Okay. Um, can I um, hold you too close to me? Uh-huh. Sorry. You wanna hang out? Maybe uh, so head to Dairy Queen? Uh-huh. Yeah? Yeah. Look at the camera and say yes. Yes. What you've seen so far is a very common trend among all these street interviewers. They like to get way too close to the women they're interviewing and shove the mocks like right in their mouth and then ask them these super weird and uncomfortable questions. And most often times, the women are also drunk, just like this girl. She's very clearly not in this corporeal realm anymore. She has transcended to another level of drunk. She is blacked out right now. She can only say one word, and that is, yeah, uh-huh, yeah. That is how drunk she is. <laughs> this just feels so illegal to watch right now. Can I get your number? Yeah. All right, I gotta ask you this. Uh-huh. Do you like anal? Uh, yeah. You do? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, boy. This man feels like he has so much game right now. He feels like he's got the biggest nuts in the world because a woman is actually communicating with him and going along with him. Look in her eyes. She is so clearly not with us right now. She's gone. She is no longer whoever she originally was before she was drunk. She is a new person right now that just can only say yes. Oh, shit. Turn around. That's all she said. She just agrees. Uh, oh, and now he's oh, okay. God. Now that's happening. Okay. Got a blast. The street interviewers that try to pick up women in their TikTok videos never interview sober women because they never get accepted by sober women. They can only get drunk women because they don't know what's going on. So they just agree with everything. And it's so awful to watch that stuff, man. It's so hard to watch. Do you like your balls grabbed from the back? I've Have never, you ever had a phone? Like what? Balls. You've never been like hitting it from the back and then like she like reached back and grabbed with your balls? With a wet hand and grabbed your balls? It's amazing. What? It's an amazing feeling. I'm pretty sure you'll Do you have you sex with <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> Just reach back and grab your balls. Okay. Let's not watch that one anymore. <laughs> Let's go on to the next one. I don't like that one already. I don't like how that one started out. <laughs> how big is your Sideways. Slang? Shit, my I ain't gonna lie, it's gonna sound like a lie, but it's eight and a half. Eight and a half? I'll just turn it into On my soul, that's a slang. Pull it out! On soft, it's small. On hard, it's big. Not, it I'm not gonna lie, like what? I'm gonna be real. Pull on blood. It out. No, I'm not, but I'm telling the truth. He's not gonna pull it out. Tell him, tell him. When that bitch get hard, it's a, it's a different monster. Okay, tell her. What? No, not like this. He's obviously a grower, not a shower. It's simple when you think about it. All dudes are either one of two things a grower, or a shower. He's clearly a grower. He said it himself. And his homie did not pass the vibe check. He didn't have his boys back. You know, he just left him out to draw. He didn't say, yeah, my, my homie's a, a grower, not a shower. I've seen it before. You know, it's a different monster when it gets hard. <laughs> he just left him out to draw when the girl was wanting to see it for some reason. She wanted him to whip it out on the spot. Your boy should always have your back when it comes to pee pee talk, though. They should know the exact diameter, volume, and everything of your schlong. That is a real best friend right there if they know that. No, yeah. is it easy to get free drinks? Yeah. Go tell the camera. Why yeah. is it so easy to get free drinks? It's easy because like, look, okay, wait, here's the guy, just watch. Now we're back on the videos where weird dudes are interviewing very drunk women and getting way too close and personal with them and asking very odd questions. Hey, so can I have like a sh like shot? Y you wanna take a shot with me? No. Oh, well, usually they don't say that, but in this case, he said no. There's the arm. How does that make you really feel that I rejected you? She looks so comfortable. He rejected her so hard that he's pulling her in, and she's kind of like hunching up like she's getting a, gr a hug from a relative she hasn't talked to in 12 years at a family reunion. 
Man, that's comfort right there. She looks so glad that he's hugging her. I'm not used to it. It's all right. You know, She's you can so admit to drunk, respecting dude. you more. It's okay. I respect you a lot more, okay? <laughs> I believe this dude's name is Jack Manley, and then him and also that first dude that we watched, they just get too, they get too, like, they take too much advantage of drunk women for their for these TikTok videos. And they always put their arm around them and pull them in way too close. Like, why do you have to touch them? You know, an interview does you don't have to put your arm around them to have an interview with them. Especially, why are you interviewing just such zooted women? You know, they, they don't know what they're doing. It's so weird. It's so bad. She so clearly did not want his arm around her, and it just felt so uncomfortable to watch her try to, like, lean away while he was pulling her in and smirking the whole time. These type of dudes are definitely the top to, when you first meet them, they'll just brag about how many women they sleep with. And like, you don't know them at all, but they'll just brag to you about women the whole time you talk to them. Because that's their whole personality, is thinking they get women, thinking they're like a playboy or something. Like Hugh Hefner, I, I don't know. I don't get it. I don't know why you'd want to base your whole personality around thinking you're cool and attractive to women. When all you do is just interview drunk women on TikTok. Like, I, it's just, it's so weird. Now, this guy is definitely one of the worst of the street interviewers. He goes around saying, make me laugh for a hundred bucks. And it's always women. Most of the time, it's always women. And he'll just walk up to him and say that. And obviously, nobody can be funny on the spot. It's not how funny works. You can't just walk up to someone and say, be funny now for a hundred dollars. If you try to intentionally be funny, it's never funny because you're expecting it Therefore, you know, it's never going to be hilarious. It's not going to make you chuckle. Also, this man's outfits in every one of his videos are absolutely atrocious. Just wanted to bring that up. He never, he never has matching outfits on, which always irks me. But, you know, just watch his face throughout the rest of this video. He makes also the worst facial expressions I've ever seen during a video. I'm just not Look at that. His face is worse than like oh. Allie thumbnail faces. <laughs> that was a lame question. No, well, it was a lame question. Are girls funny then? Um, yeah, I think girls. Oh, then make me laugh. Okay, well, I think that was a lame question. Then girls aren't funny. He's got like a Doctor Doofenshmirtz nose. I think some nose. girls are funny. Me and my friends <laughs> definitely are not. <laughs> wow, walk in front of the camera. Yeah, that fit ain't it, man. That fit ain't it. But let's go ahead and watch another one of his videos where he walks up to a dude and does the same thing. Tries to get a guy to prove that men are funny for a hundred bucks. Can you make me laugh to prove that guys are funny and I'll give you a hundred dollars? No. There's the face I, again. I suck. Um... I don't know. <laughs> so I <can> <laughs> yeah, that was good. <laughs> I don't know. I actually, oh, I don't bro, know any jokes. Just, I don't know. He's gotta be doing that on purpose at this point with the outfits. I mean, he's got two completely different shoes on. The shirt and the shorts are atrocious. The panda man, though, that's respectable drip right there. Everything is black and white. Even the panda matches his outfit. He had that not planned out from the start. But yeah, he's laughing at the dude. Yeah. Because he wants to be funny. Oh, well. Misogyny's funny on TikTok, guys. Yeah. When you're a street interviewer, at least. This for me? Yeah. It's funny when I'm misogynistic, though. This one, $5. Oh, if you round it up. This man clearly just does these videos to make people upset, and because he's getting the reactions he's wanting, and he did the man side of things, and then laughed when the guy did the same reaction as the girls, just to make... Sorry, just to make even more people mad and make more people mad he did. So I guess he accomplished his mission. But, you know, people that intentionally try to piss people off are more often times than not, not the best people in the world. They're they're typically the, the worst people to be around. Why do girls go out? To have fun. To have fun and get lit. Describe fun. Enjoying yourselves, getting lit with, with your, your friends. friends. Like a girl's night. Yeah. All right. Awesome. The awkwardness at the end, man. All right. Awesome. And then he just slowly backs away and takes off running. He doesn't know how to say goodbye to girls. I'm guessing the answer he was looking for when he asked why do girls go out is he wanted them to say, to get blew out from behind, to have sex, <laughs> you know, <laughs> to be hoes. And for some reason, all the comments are saying, basically agreeing with him saying, they probably have two kids each, red flags, attention, dot, 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 free drinks. <laughs> like, why? 
Are all, is like your whole entire fan base incels and cucks? Like, I guess so. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the TikTok street interviews. I just wanted to kind of show you one from each horrible genre. Like the too touchy kind of guys. And then the guys who ask women to be funny. And the guys who interview only drunk girls and you know, etc, etc. I just kind of wanted to put my hand in each cookie jar to give you a taste of horrible TikTok street interviews. Because when something gets as big as this did on TikTok, there's always some people that just go out and solely do it for trying to get clout purposes. And it never works out. Whenever someone's chasing clout so obviously and so hard, it just never makes for good content. And I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out.